Arsenal don unfamiliar striped shirts for their sixth round tussle with Blackpool at Highbury. Blackpool beat Arsenal only a week ago in their league match and as they kick off they seem determined to do the same thing. Logie gets it for Arsenal, back to Roper. He shoots but Goalie Farm is there to clear away upfield. Now Blackpool begin an attack. At last Stanley Matthews gets the ball and the great wizard shows the sort of class that still keeps him at the top. Matthew centers and the Arsenal goal seems to be in danger, but Perry slices his shot and the Gunners breathe again. Blackpool are having most of the game. Now the ball goes to their biggest star, Alan Brown. But centre-half Daniel beats him this time and starts another Arsenal movement. Lishman sends over a centre. Up comes Houghton to help out and bundles Farm out of the way. The ball goes loose, but Johnston clears on the line. There's still no score at half-time. Arsenal certainly aren't showing the form we expected of them. But here's a movement that's got some of their old sparkle. Over goes the ball, and it's a corner to Arsenal. Outside left, Roper takes it. Farm punches clear, and the situation is saved. Racing upfield, Alan Brown leads an attack. Brown to Ernie Taylor, he shoots, and it's in the net. Blackpool are one up. There's not much more time left, so Arsenal pull out all the stops to even things up. The Blackpool defence try to clear out of danger, but the Arsenal lob it back. This one bowls over Goalie Farm, and Logie is there to slam it home for Arsenal. Blackpool and Arsenal are one all with only a few minutes left for play. Back come Blackpool. Alan Brown dashes through. Goalie Kelsey dives at his feet, and down comes Brown. Yes, it's a goal, but Brown is badly hurt. His left leg is broken from that collision. It's a tragic ending to a great performance. Thanks to Brown, Blackpool have won by two goals to one. But now comes the question, can they win through to Wembley without him?